हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सलाम नमस्ते सत्या जहाँ भी हैं आप वेलकम टू माय चैनल मेरा नाम है महलीच माय नेम इज महलीच एंड इफ यू आर वाचिंग मी फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम मेक श्योर यू क्लिक ऑन दैट सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड ऑल्सो क्लिक ऑन दैट बेल आइकॉन सो यू गेट नोटिफाइड एवरी टाइम आई अपलोड वीडियो अगर आप मुझे पहली दफा देख रहे हैं तो इस सब्सक्राइब बटन पे क्लिक कीजिए और यहाँ पे बेल आइकन है उस पर क्लिक कीजिए ताकि आप मेरा कोई भी नया वीडियो मिस ना करें Today's video is going to be a little different. I'm going to be talking about a website called OnlyFans. मेरा आज का वीडियो थोड़ा सा डिफरेंट है आज मैं इस वीडियो में एक वेबसाइट के बारे में बात करूंगी जिसका नाम है ओनली फैंस सो देर मेनी पीपल दैट हैव सीन दैट आई हैव बीन प्रमोटिंग माई ओनली फैंस पेज ऑन माई सोशल मीडिया एंड देव आस इन बंच ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो आई एम गोइंग टू एंसर ऑल दोज क्वेश्चन इन दिस वीडियो I'm also going to be talking about OnlyFans as a website and how it can benefit any artist, any content creator. So let's talk about what OnlyFans is so you guys will better understand what I post on my OnlyFans. OnlyFans is a platform for any artist, content creator to post their content and charge a subscription fee for it. You can charge this fee monthly, you can charge it 3 months, 4 months. There is options for you to set it up. How much you want to charge? You can charge $5, you can charge $20, or uh if you don't want to charge and want to make your content free, you can also make it free. So let's talk about the good things about OnlyFans. Okay, so there are many good features that I like in OnlyFans. Top one being that it is one of the websites that takes away the least amount of percentage from you. I have been on other website where they will charge or they will take away a lot more of a percentage from you than OnlyFans does. So I really like that feature that I get to keep more of my money and then they get to keep a little percentage. There's one really cool feature that I really like about OnlyFans is that you can send mass messages. You can send messages to all your fans. If you have a thousand fans, you can just type in one message, select all, and you can send it to all of them. There's another really cool feature that OnlyFans offers is that paid messages. So for example, I do a new photo shoot or I record a new video, I can put that in my inbox and send it to all my fans or everybody that has subscribed now will get that message but at the same time i can set a price for it for example i can do ten dollars i can do five dollars or the minimum it lets you go to is three dollars so you can put a little description of what's in the video or what's in the pictures so your fans will know what they're getting and it's up to them if they want to see it then they will definitely pay that money and then uh, you know get to see the content OnlyFans I find is a very simple website to use as a creator. The layout I find is basically like Facebook, you have a news feed, you have your uh, picture section, you know, you have your video section and uh people can uh, post whatever they want. Like I said, it doesn't always have to be adult content. Yes, there is a lot of adult content up there, but if you're an artist and if you like to make videos and you put a lot of time into it, um and you think your content is worth paying for it, then I would definitely say that give it a try. It was not too hard for me to get on it and start learning it. I have only been on there for close to 2 months now and I've been doing very well. and my content um is uh, like i said it's not an adult content so for me to be uh getting so many subscribers so quick i was pretty happy with that it is very easy you can connect your bank account and it will transfer your money uh it's pretty simple honestly only fans also shows you all about your fans for example who is joining who is leaving you also have an option to block or restrict an account If somebody comes on your OnlyFans and is leaving negative comments or is harassing you, then you do have an option you can block that account or you can restrict them. Restricted account means they won't be able to comment on anything, but they will still be able to look at your pictures and videos or any content that you post. Now let's talk about my experience on OnlyFans. I started OnlyFans or I registered, signed up for it beginning of February. And then I didn't really post anything. I just put the cover and I just posted a profile picture and I kind of sort of promoted it a little bit on Facebook. I didn't really post anything till I had my first subscriber which was in mid of February. And then I started posting, you know, few pictures every day. And then I started seeing that, you know, we had two subscribers and then three subscribers and then four and then it just kept growing and growing and growing the first month. 
by the end of first month I was already at uh, around 30 to 40 subscribers and this is not doing too much promotions or too much social media marketing <clears throat> so when I saw the results coming in um, I decided that I needed to put in more time into this because these people are coming here for paid content so you do have to put in some time and you do have to produce content that is worthy of a subscription so I started putting more time into it and uh, it's, it just started growing for me the second month of March because we had the coronavirus everybody is home it, it's crazy it blew up for me and honestly in within a month and a half uh, we are the top seven percent as I'm making this video we're top seven percent of the content creators on OnlyFans which I am thrilled because I honestly I was not expecting it but uh, thanks to all my fans that joined me up there and they're loving the content now what do I post up there so as far as my content goes my content is not adult content my content for example any of the photo shoots that I used to do before and they used to be posted all over my social media now they go on my OnlyFans first um, it is a little bit more sexier bold content of course um, because it is paid content so any of my bikini pictures any of my uh, lingerie pictures any of those things or videos or bathtub videos they're all going to be going into OnlyFans now because I think that content kind of belongs there for the paid subscription for everything else I'm going to be creating other content um, other videos and stuff to entertain you guys of course I want to keep all my fans happy um, but this video was just basically letting you guys know what OnlyFans is and uh, what I do there I post uh, new photo shoots I post uh, new videos I do go live at least three to four times in a week I am still learning I'm still trying to schedule it properly um, I don't know if it was a good thing or a bad thing that the coronavirus hit at the same time when I started this because um, I, I mean it is good but at the same time I've been very busy um, trying to create more content but we are very limited because as you can see I'm shooting in my washroom I don't have too much space in this house to be shooting different kind of content but you know you always got to be creative and you got to come up with something or the other so another good thing about OnlyFans is that uh, if you want to chat with me I actually do chat with all my OnlyFans because we don't have subscribers in thousands and thousands I can pay individual attention to all my fans you know because I can chat with them I can talk to them so if you've been messaging me on Facebook or Instagram I do get a lot of messages up there and I don't get to go through all of them I do go through them but I don't get to go through all of them and you know with the amount of views I get I get a lot of those kind of messages so sometimes I don't even look into it but on OnlyFans I find it's more serious people that are there for the entertainment they're not there to you know um, be negative they're more positive and they want to chit chat with you and they are there to be your fans and that's why they're your OnlyFans and they're your true fans how many times do I post on OnlyFans well um, I have been posting around three times a day I try to post at least three times a day um, there are days where I have been lazy and I get a little eh, you know but uh, you have this cool feature on OnlyFans where you can schedule your posts so you can schedule your post for three days you can schedule your post if you have the content for a month two months three months it all depends on what content you have and how much content you have so you have this cool feature where you can actually schedule it yes I do schedule some posts for me so if I am busy I do have something scheduled so for my fans there's always something coming up on the wall and they have something to look forward to this was my reason for joining OnlyFans now I know a lot of people have this misconception about you know OnlyFans being just the adult content and some people have said that to me too like why are you on that website and stuff listen whenever any website comes out that's what people say now adult content is everywhere we can find it on Facebook we can find it on Instagram we can find everywhere we adult contents on there and people that create adult content are going to use all the platforms so that doesn't mean that people that don't do adult content or create different kind of content cannot go and use these platforms not necessarily every content that is on OnlyFans is adult content mine is PG-18 but it is not adult content now I don't know if you guys know there's also a website called patreon 
And when Patreon had come out, I had also made an account on Patreon, but I never got too familiar with it. But that was the first thing people came to me and said, oh, it is only for adult content. Now there's many YouTubers that use Patreon as a platform where they either charge a little subscription or uh, their fans will go in this, uh, they will just donate something to help them out. I mean, creating content is hard. It takes time, energy, you need equipment. So, you know, at least you get to have some extra funds to at least buy a new stand, buy a new phone, you know, all those gadgets and gadgets. So I want to encourage uh, other people. I think it's the best platform for any content creator that is looking for a little help, that is looking to charge a little subscription for their content. So if you haven't joined my OnlyFans yet, I think it's the best time to go and subscribe. And there's a really cool feature that OnlyFans has. For example, if you tell your friend to come and subscribe and you tell me that you refer him, then you get to have one month free. If you subscribe two friends, then you get two months free. If you subscribe 12 friends, guess what? You're getting the whole year free. Well, I hope that answered all your questions. If you do have any more questions, do let me know in the comment section below and I will definitely get back to you. And also, don't forget, I know you have been here, you have watched a lot of my videos, but you haven't subscribed yet. I don't know why, but you need to subscribe. So you see this button, you click on this button. You gotta subscribe, okay? And you see this button right here, the bell button? If you don't click on this then YouTube will not let you know whenever I upload another video and you like my videos right so click on this so you will get notified every time I upload another video anyways guys thank you so much and I will see you next time bye bye